Smartcast. You're listening to a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. The Congress said on Thursday that neither Rahul Gandhi nor workers of the party will stop speaking out against the Narendra Modi government despite a judgment by a Surat court that convicted Gandhi for 2 years in a 2019 defamation case. The verdict, which puts Gandhi's future as a member of parliament, MP, in jeopardy, will be fought both legally and politically, Congress leaders said. The BJP, meanwhile, hailed the verdict against the Wayanad MP, saying that no one should consider themselves above the law. Soon after the judgment was pronounced, Congress chief Mallikarjun Khadge said, "We will appeal in the higher court against the action taken against Rahul Ji in Gujarat." but neither will we be afraid nor will we back down we will continue to expose the misdeeds of this government at any cost claiming that the bjp is trying to keep gandhi out of parliament for speaking the truth khage said today the situation is such that rahul gandhi appears in his dreams as well if the modi government continues to sit with folded hands and keep handing over the country's wealth to its friends then neither rahul gandhi will remain silent nor congress workers will remain silent We will not give freedom to a few friends to loot public property. Congress leader Renu Kaj Odri said she will file a defamation case against Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the alleged shoot nakha comment made in parliament in 2018. Let's see how fast courts will act now. The former union minister said tweeting the old clip of Narendra Modi asking the Rajya Sabha chairman to allow Renu Kaj Odri to continue as such laughter was heard days after the Ramayana serial used to be telecast. This classless megalomaniac referred to me as shoot nakha on the floor of the house, Renu Kaj Odri said after Rahul Gandhi on Thursday was convicted in a 2019 defamation case for saying how come all thieves have Modi surname. Rahul Gandhi was sentenced to 2 years of jail which was suspended for 30 days before which he will have to appeal against the court order. The Congress leader was reminded by social media users that Prime Minister Modi did not mention the word surpan kha and she can't move to the court on a statement made in parliament. Rahul Gandhi chose not to apologize for fighting against corruption. He chose not to apologize for fighting against fascism. He chose not to apologize for speaking the truth. Reno Kaj Odri tweeted While Waris Punjab de Chief Amritpal Singh manages to evade arrest CCTV footages drop hints of his continuous movement as the latest purportedly showed him walking in a residential area in Haryana hiding under an umbrella This footage found on Thursday is from Monday Earlier Amritpal Singh was seen fleeing in a motorbike and then on a motorized three-wheeler in Punjab The latest proves that the Khalistan sympathizer crossed the state border on Monday only. Several of his aides have been arrested and the cops are piecing together the events that unfolded since Saturday. Bujit Kaur, a resident of Kurukshetra, admitted that she gave shelter to Amritpal Singh and his aide Paplapreet Singh. Amritpal and Paplapreet stayed at Bujit Kaur's place for the night and left the very next day. At Bujit's place, Umritpal made some calls which indicated that they were planning to move to Uttarakhand reports said police said all states including Uttarakhand were alerted after it was found out that Umritpal Singh fled Punjab and went to Haryana TikTok CEO Shuji Chu testified before US Congress amid growing security concerns and potential Chinese government influence over the company Chu faced hostile questioning from the House Energy and Commerce Committee as he verbally danced to make the case that the social media giant is taking real action to address national security concerns from the US. During a 4-hour long hearing, Chu time and again stressed that the TikTok app, which is owned by the Chinese technology company ByteDance, has long maintained that it does not share data with the Chinese government and it doesn't pose a risk to its 150 million users in the US nor share their data with the Chinese Communist Party CCP US lawmaker Debbie Lesko during her line of questioning quoted India and other countries that have recently banned TikTok in some form this TikTok is a tool which is ultimately under the control of the Chinese government and screams out with national security concerns Mr Shu How can all of these countries and our FBI director be wrong? asked Lesko. 
I think a lot of risks pointed out are hypothetical and theoretical risks. I have not seen any evidence, Chu responded. The congresswoman once again reiterated and stressed on the India ban. In their ban TikTok in 2020. In March 21st, a Forbes article revealed how data of Indian citizens who use TikTok remained accessible to employees at the company and its Beijing-based parent. A current TikTok employee told Forbes that nearly anyone with basic access to company tools can easily look up the closest contact and other sensitive information about any user, Lesko informed her colleagues. Karaniti Chopra was seen with Ahmadmi Party AAP, leader Raghav Chopra on two separate occasions for dinner and lunch, leading to dating rumors amongst fans. The actor went out for dinner with Raghav on Wednesday at a restaurant in Mumbai. The next day, the two were also seen going out again for lunch. They even posed for paparazzi pictures. For their dinner outing in Mumbai on Wednesday, Karaniti and Raghav both wore white shirts. The actor was wearing checked pants with white shoes, while Raghav wore khaki pants with brown shoes. On Thursday, Piraniti wore black t-shirt and pants with dark sunglasses. Raghav had on a beige shirt and black pants. As they exited the restaurant after lunch, they both left in the same car. Piraniti once again posed for the waiting paparazzi before she got into the car. The dinner and lunch dates have prompted many into thinking that they are dating. Fans asked on social media, if the two were seeing one another. One Instagram user commented, if they are dating then I am excited. Raghav Chara, who belongs to the Ahmadami party, is the youngest members of the parliament. He hails from New Delhi and has studied abroad at the London School of Economics. Praniti, who is Priyanka Chopra's cousin, followed her older sister into the profession. She also studied in the UK at the Manchester Business School. In 2009, she joined the marketing department of Yashraj Films (YRF). Eventually, she made her acting debut in a supporting role in the rom-com Ladies vs. Ricky Bahal (2011) alongside Ranveer Singh and Anushka Sharma. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap, a beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. This was a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HT Smartcast. HT Smartcast.